And we are back. Power Rankings, Week 12 Edition. And starting out, 32. They're going to be staying the same. We got the the Houston Texans. You have one win for a reason. That's literally all I can say. I mean, last week, yeah, you lost to Commanders, 22-10. I just feel bad for your team, man. At 31... Staying the same as well. We got the Broncos. Kept it close with the Raiders. Ultimately lost 22-16 in overtime. Now makes their record 3-7. By the way, uh, Seattle still having that top five pick. Bro, I don't know what's going on with the Broncos, man. And I don't know, go, know what's going on with the number 30 team, the Raiders. Even though you win, you're staying the same because you beat the Broncos barely. You're also 3-7. 29, we have the Jaguars. They're going to be going nowhere. They're also staying the same. They had a bye week, but you're the Jaguars. And before we move on to the next team, quickly want to say that, as you may know, Thanksgiving is Thursday for, uh, as I'm recording this on Tuesday, uh, Thanksgiving on Thursday, and if you don't know, I do a tier list every Thursday, well, during the NFL season. And don't worry, the tier list is still going to come out, but it's going to come out on Wednesday instead. There's not going to be a video on Thursday. I'm not going to upload on a holiday that I celebrate, well, the whole day. So, yeah. I'm recording it on Tuesday today as I'm recording this. It's going to be right after I record this. And the tier list should come out after the predictions on Wednesday. I don't know when that's going to be uploaded, but probably like 20, 30 minutes after the predictions, the tier list should be out. But we have the Jaguars at 29. We already talked about them. 28, finally a team moving. They're going down a spot. I have the Panthers. You kept it close with the Ravens for the most part. I believe it was 3 nothing going into halftime. And I chose to watch that game. Thanks. I just... That game was horrible. Ends up being 13-3, to free, so... We start with some more points scored than in the first half. But great job for keeping it close, but it doesn't matter. You still lost. 28 also going... Or, excuse me, 27 also going down a spot. We got the Steelers. He kept it close with the Bengals, just like the Panthers did with the Ravens, except... It was 37-30, not 13-3. <laughs> so, that's good. And I'm pretty confident in you guys. Because you do play the Colts on Monday night. So, that's going to be a great game. Um, And yeah, I can see that easily being a win for you guys. 26, we got Da Bears. They're going to be going down two spots. You kept it close again with the Falcons. How many times are you going to lose these high-scoring games by a single score? It's just so unfortunate that your offense is amazing and your defense is horrible. Guess defense can win championships. 25, we got Nola. The Saints are going to be going up three spots. They pick up a win over someone. Who did they beat? I actually don't remember. I know Andy Dolan went off. They beat the Rams. That's right, 27-20. to 20. Andy Dolan had like three incompletions, and he looked amazing, but don't get happy, Saints fans. It's Andy Dolan. Don't expect him to do that week after week. You guys still suck. 24, we got the Dirty Birds going up a spot. They beat the Bears 27-24. And a pretty good game, honestly. That was probably the best game of the week, potentially. And that's saying something. That the Bears and Falcons, two teams with a losing record, had that good of a game. Maybe Chiefs Chargers, you could argue. But, yeah. Even though you win, I still don't trust you. 23, we got the Brownies. They're going to be... Going down a spot, 31-23 against the Bills in Ford Field. I don't know. I think this is the last week without Deshaun Watson. So, 
And you're playing the Buccaneers, who have been getting hot lately. I don't think it's going to go very well. But, I mean, at least, you know, I got nothing. 22, we got the Packers. They're going to be going down two spots. 27-17 win over the Titans. Ultimately, it shows what the Packers did was pretty good. They held Derrick Henry. But it also shows, even if Derrick Henry's not, you know, breaking off big runs, he's still getting three yards of carry in. That's enough for a first down every single time. You got three put or four plays to get a first down. You need ten yards. Just run it. He's more than likely gonna get two and a half yards every play. <coughs> so, just goes to show, even if you stop Derrick Henry, you can't stop the Titans. And the Packers failed to do that. The only bright spot for the Packers really right now is Christian Watson, twenty one. The Colts are going to be staying the same. Jeff Saturday loses his first game as an NFL head coach. But against the best team record-wise in the league in the Eagles by a single point. Is Jeff Saturday a good coach? Did everyone clown on him and he's firing back? Who knows? But I'm all for this Colts, you know, head coach drama. 20, we got the Detroit Lions up three spots. They get a surprising win over the Giants, 31-18. And that says a lot. The Lions are 4-6. and six. They've won a few in a row now. And if you want me to, who do they play this week? I know no teams are on a bye week, so. The Lions play the, the oh, the Bills. Oh, thanks, Kevin. Yeah, never mind. Maybe the Lions are going to lose a game. I was going to say, uh, the Lions might go another few games without losing, but uh, maybe not. 19, we got the LA Rams. They're going to be going down three spots. Ultimately, Matthew Stafford played injured and got injured. And then Bryce Perkins, I believe, played. It's unfortunate Super Bowl hangover, it's real. And it's not good for the Rams. You're three and eight. No, three and seven, excuse me. And if you even want a chance to make the playoffs, you're probably going to have to win out. And I just don't see that happening with you guys. You play the, uh, the Chiefs next week. So good luck. You're going to need it. 18, we got the the Cardinals. The Angry Birds are going down a spot. They lost 38-10 against the 49ers in Mexico. And Kyle Murray was out. <laughs> That's all to be said about the Cardinals. I don't know anything about them. I don't want to know anything about them. They're just a team in my book. 17, though, we got the Commanders up two spots. I'm doing them dirty having them at 17. They need to be higher. They've won, what, five out of their last six or something, I believe the NFL said. That's that's pretty good. Even though it's against the Texans, you're winning. You're keeping up with the, the NFC in the playoffs. I believe you are... Well, I know you're not because I have the standings right here. But Seahawks are the seventh seed at six and four, so you're you're right there. You're you're the next team if you know something is to happen. Rounding into the top half, we got the Bucks at sixteen going up two spots. They were on a bye week, but honestly, why the hell not? Fifteen Jets. They go down a spot. <clears throat> you guys can thank me later if I, you know, saved you guys on anything to like do with Zach Wilson. Um, I, I've said since he was drafted, he's not a good quarterback. He's not going to be a good quarterback. He's literally Sam Darnold 2.0. You trade away Sam Darnold, and you get Sam Darnold with a different name and haircut. He's not good. He put up three points, completed nine passes, 
And he had the audacity to say he did not let the defense down. Bullshit. You cost your team the game. You lost 10-3 because you couldn't score more than a single field goal. It is all your fault, Zach. Go fuck some more moms and get off the football field. 14, we got the other New York team, the Giants. They're going down two spots. What has happened in New York? Everyone thought, oh, they were all this hot shit and stuff, and now they're losing to bad teams, I'd say. The Lions. How did, how did you get exposed by the Lions? What is happening in New York? Granted, Giants, I think you'll be fine because you're 7-3 and three and in a weak conference. But for the Jets, who they're in a different story. But Giants, if you don't start winning, you're going to eventually fall behind. And I don't think you're going to catch up. So you got to you gotta turn the tides. You play on Thanksgiving, you play the Cowboys. So that's a big test. And if you can get that win, you know. Yeah. Speaking of 13, we got the Patriots. We just have a bunch of teams in the East. Uh, they're going up two spots. They beat the Jets 10-3 by a pump return touchdown. Both defenses played great in that game and ultimately came down to special teams. Congrats, Patriots. 12, we got the Chargers up a spot even though you lost. You kept it close with the Chiefs. A lot of people are saying it was the ref's fault. Granted, I might get flamed for this. I fell asleep during the fourth quarter and didn't wake back up until the next morning. So I don't know what happened, but sure, the ref screwed the, 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 the charges because they, they did. I didn't see any evidence, but they did. They totally did, yeah. 11, we have the Seahawks. They're going to be staying the same. They had a bye week. Number 10, we have the Vikings down six spots. 40 to 3 against the Cowboys. Y'all were talking all this crap, this and that. You got the best, drippiest quarterback in the league, bro. Take his chain away. He doesn't deserve it after how he played. He probably should have been left. Wait, was it played in Dallas or Minnesota? Okay, let's play in Minnesota. Never mind. Uh, yeah, Battle of Cousins. Oh, and Trayvon Diggs apparently locked Jefferson up. I I said, well, I didn't say, but I I admitted I was wrong about Trayvon Diggs. Uh, this year, last year he was a bum, but this year he's he's good. And man, he proved it. He locked up probably the best receiver in the league at the moment. Numero 9, we got the 49ers. They're going to be staying the same after a dominant win on Monday night in Mexico, Mexico, if you can't figure that out, against the Cardinals and their backup quarterback. Sorry, Colt McCoy, you, 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 you suck. Number 8, tighten up. They're going to be staying the same, though. They get a nice 27-17 win over the Packers on Thursday night football. And what that shows is even if Derrick Henry gets locked up, he's still going to run for three yards on you. You guys are fine. Traylon Burks looked amazing in that game. And, well, you might be able to start passing. You play against the Bengals next week. So maybe get your revenge for being knocked out of the divisional round as the one seed. Staying the same again. We got the Dolphins on a bye week. Number six, we got the boys going up four spots. 40 to 3 win over the Vikings. Congrats. Vikings, you suck. Cowboys, way to get back on track after a shocking loss. And you play the Giants for Thanksgiving, so you're you're still not done yet. Rounding into the top five. We got the Bengals are gonna be going up a spot. 37-30 win over. The Steelers, and the reason why I'm moving them up is because I moved the Vikings down. Number four, the Bills up a spot. The reason I'm moving the Bills up is because the Vikings went down. Good win. You proved you can be back, even if it's not in your home stadium, and it's still a home game. I think the Bills are getting back on track. 
I'd say even though you beat the Chiefs earlier in the season, you're now, you know, a step or two behind them. And I'm just going to flat out say I think that's how the whole league is in the AFC. It's kind of the the Chiefs and then everyone else. And then the Texans are probably get their own category as well. Number three, number two, number one, all staying the same. Ravens, 13-3 win over the Panthers. Same thing I said about someone. I don't remember what team I said. Doesn't matter how you win. As long as you win, you win. Eagles, you, ooh, ooh, it was close between you and the Colts, but you get it done. That's all that matters. Still only one loss. Still the best team record wise in the league. League? League? Yeah. Number one, the Chiefs. It's just a cheat code, Mahomes and Kelsey being on the same team. That's just a cheat code, but, I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing the cheat code, so... Here we are. So that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. I will see you guys next time tomorrow with both predictions and then tier list. And yeah, goodbye.